My grandmother's very, very loud. Um, she is, so just to give you some context, my grandmother is like planning her singles cruises right now. Um, every single time she Skypes me, she has a different dress in hand and is like, Kimberly, what do you think about this one? Does it have too many swirls on it? Or does it have too many sequins? Um, so that's how she is, that's who she is. And um, she gave this to me when she was making like a, an herbal soup for me, which is actually very unconventional for her because she usually just makes tomato soup with like a grilled cheese or something. But um, I told her that I didn't really like feminine jade because it was too um, ornamental. And so she said, oh, you like masculine jade? Here you are. And she just like pulled out this piece from nowhere <laughs> and was like, here, it's yours now. Um, but I asked about it because I was like, how did you acquire this, kinds of, this kind of jade? Because I know that specifically ice jade is hard to find, um, and especially a piece that is like this. And she said, oh, your grandfather, he used to operate a pawn shop out of the restaurant in Kamloops, <laughs> um, as all good Cantonese uncles do. And uh, apparently a man came um, into the restaurant one time being like, this is the only like Chinese space I can find. Is, is there any way I can like talk to somebody who can help me get to Calgary? And my grandpa was like, mm, you can pay me and I'll take you to Calgary. And so the man was like, I, I don't have that much money, but I have this jade. I can give it to you in exchange for a trip. And my grandpa was like, okay, that sounds like a good trade. So he took it and on the ride to Calgary, they became very good friends. And my grandpa said, you know what? I don't feel good taking this jade. You can, you can keep it and we'll stay in touch. And so they were pen pals for the next like 50 years. Um, and then when that man died, he left this piece of jade to my grandfather. And so when I started learning more about the importance of jade and the importance of um, you know, having it around you to protect you, um, I learned that sometimes when people pass away and they hand over jade to you, their spirit remains with the jade and they protect you. Um, so I wear, I wear this jade as kind of a um, testament to my grandfather's uh, thrifty ways and also his friendship with somebody who um, just walked into the restaurant one day. <laughs>